All right, good start by everybody. All right, we have Keegan out front, Brennan in second, Cohen in third, Justice in fourth. I don't know number 11, but he's fifth, and Harper in sixth. Let's see how they navigate this race. This is the final of round two of the Orlando Karting Center Kid Kart Series. All right, so we got Keegan out front. Renan is chasing him down. Let's see if Renan can, in fact, keep Keegan in his sights here. Here they come. Keegan, Renan. We had a chain pop off right here. I gotta had to go help get that safely off the track. We have Justice in third. Cohen in fourth. Harper in fifth. And the race is going on still. Renan is still on Keegan. This is going to be exciting. Justice is pulling away from Cohen. So we're looking to see if these two can keep from making any mistakes. We have Justice coming in here. He's got one of the better lines that I've observed through this corner. Very, very smooth. And here's Cohen. Cohen has a little bit wider of a line, but still good. And here's Harper. About the same line as Cohen, pushing it out to the outside. Very good by all the kids here. Once again, we're here for round two of the Orlando Kart Center Kid Kart Championship Series. The series started in May 2021. Now we're doing the second round in June, June 5th, 2021. And we have a good group of racers here, as usual. We have five and six year olds and we are all from Florida. We're from Central Florida, so this is our home track, but we have Keegan is from Tampa area. Renan is from St. Cloud, he's my son. Uh, Justice, I believe, is down from the South Tampa area. Cohen from the Fort Myers area, I believe. Harper is also from the Tampa area. So no developments, but it does look like Justice is catching Renan. So that's going to be an interesting closing uh, stanza to the race. So we're going to feature different onboard video this time from, uh, I think we're going to go with uh, Keegan's onboard. Oop, Harper got a little bit off into the uh, side there. It looks like Justice is tracking down Renan. So he's going to have to make sure that he keeps it clean there. And uh, not sure if he's going to be able to hold back Justice. He tracked him down from a good margin. So he's got some speed over in somewhere. So like I was saying, we like to feature some onboard footage. Uh, and I forgot to turn Renan's GoPro on, so we will not be having Renan's footage. So hopefully we'll have Keegan's footage, which should be interesting because he's currently winning the race. And uh, hopefully we get some footage from Justice because he's tracking Renan down right now and be interested to see how that develops. Brennan had a bit of a slowdown coming through the S's over there, so that allowed Justice to really close up on him. So he's gonna he's gonna learn that that uh, little bit of off throttle. It's 
not gonna be helpful, but you just gained another cart position to two coming out of that corner. So it's, it's good back and forth between these two for the uh, second place position. Well, Justice is pulled up on Renan's bumper fairly, fairly closely through that section there. And, oh no, Justice has a spin. Justice has a spin going into the uh, horseshoe in front of the stands. So that might be the gap that Renan needs. And uh, Justice has been really quick all day. And it's, uh, it's gonna be an uphill battle to try to get back to where Renan was. And uh, this is a little bit of flashback that we saw in the pre-final where Justice had a spin going into the uh, first turn over there while trying to pass Renan. So I don't know what Renan's doing there, but maybe uh, Renan gets on the brakes a little bit earlier than Justice is expecting and then kind of throws him off. So we'll see if Renan can keep it dialed in and let's see if Justice can track him down. We have a race here going on for third or fourth place. We got Harper and Cohen. So Cohen's tracking down Harper and uh, we'll see what he can do with that position there. And uh, another interesting fact that these kids have been hitting 36, 37 miles an hour down the straightaway today, which is pretty quick for five and six year olds to be driving vehicles that go that fast and controlling them as well as they do. So uh, some really good talent here in these kids. All right, so it looks like Justice is in fact caught Renan again. And uh, definitely a better line choice by Justice through that corner. And let's see if this is gonna pay off for him. He's closing up on Renan, going into the uh, grandstand turn. And it uh, looks like Renan was able to stick through that. And um, historically, Justice has been a bit faster down the uh, start finish line straight. So, and it looks like we're gonna get a flag or close to it, not yet. So maybe uh, two to go. And um, there goes Renan and Justice into turn one. And they both come through it pretty good, but Justice closed up on Renan again. So once again, Justice comes to the point where he's got to get by Renan and uh, seems to be that Renan's a, a hard subject to make a pass on. So we're going to see how Justice manages to do that here pretty soon. Looks like he got a really good run out of that turn. And he's closed up on Renan. The two top carts, basically the same looking carts. And here they go into the turn, 37, 36 miles an hour. Here comes Keegan, he's got a commanding lead. It's all his as long as he doesn't have a mistake. And Justice hopped a curve over there. So he's he is hungry to get by Renan. So let's see how he manages to do that. And this is the corner in which Justice is definitely better than Renan at. So let's see how it shakes out. Oh, and seems Renan finally took a, a better line through that corner than Justice, ironically, when Justice was closing up for the pass. So either Renan's a really good mental game guy or uh, he's just trying different lines this late in the race. So we'll see what happens. It looks like we're coming up to the white flag. This is gonna be the final lap. Oh, we got a good race right here behind me, Cohen and Harper. Cohen takes the inside and they're going to go into the grandstand turn side by side. Looks like Harper stuck the turn down there and they're coming up to the start finish line. They're going to take the one to go flag and we'll see what happens. And Brennan has about a half a lap to keep justice behind him. So this should should get interesting because this is when the moves are made. Last lap and Justice is coming down. He's gonna go, he's gonna go on the inside. No, he's not gonna go on the inside. And here comes Keegan on his last lap. He's gonna take an easy win as long as he can keep it together. Oh, and it looks like Justice had a little bit of a spin. As soon as I turned away, Justice got a little bit sideways and had a half spin. So that takes the pressure off of Renan. And as long as Renan cannot spin, and it seems like he will take second. Oh, Justice had another spin back there. So he might be getting some hot tires or something, uh, something just maybe not working right on the cart for him, but he's coming in and he will still take a third place, which is excellent, excellent position for what I think is his first time here. And now we're gonna focus on this race between Cohen and Harper. These two are going at it and it looks like 
Cohen did get by Harper and he did take the spot on the last lap. And there's Harper getting up on that wheel. And we'll see where those two end up. So it is Keegan in first, Rennan in second, Justice in third. That is our podium from round two. We'll talk to these guys when we get back to the paddock and we'll see what they have to say about the race. And it looks like Cohen is gonna take the fourth place and Harper the fifth place. And of course we had a retirement here and I'm not sure of number 11's name, but uh, that's unfortunate. He had a sprocket bend. So uh, we'll uh, look for him at the next round. He seemed like he was doing pretty good though from what I saw. All right, so comes second place, Renan, and third place, Justice. So everybody's clearing off the track gonna walk back and uh, see if I can't catch up with some of these kids all right good job buddy yeah what do you think about that that was a flawless brace for you I didn't see one mistake at all you want to tell us anything I don't know what you're gonna say that was pretty much perfect good job you you got first in the pre-final you started first and then you never let up first and you knew anything other than first so that was a pretty good race congratulations I think you get one of them cool trophies what do you want to say? He won the trophy. He won the trophy. He did. <laughs> All right, so we're here at second place finisher, ran in. So uh, from what I saw, you had a pretty good race. You started off real good, and then you uh, you were sticking with Keegan for a while, and then you had a little bit of a bobble or two, or the cart seemed like it slowed down a couple times. So maybe uh, something happened there, but. Anyways, you had a really good race for second with Justice, so what do you, what do you think? Tell us about it. Uh, I want to get my trophy. Yeah, you get a second place trophy this time. So last time you won, so now you got position number two. So now we'll see uh, what the number two place trophy looks like. Tell us about your race. Um, when I had a good race because Keegan almost fast and he speed up, and then I followed him, and then he, I almost got him. Yeah, you were really close, but he was just, he made no mistakes and super fast, so that was kind of hard to keep up with him, huh? So, um, Justice was catching up to you a couple times, but he uh, he had a lot of trouble passing you. You're, you're not an easy guy to get past, I guess, huh? <laughs> Did you know he was back there? I see him when I turn. You saw him when you turn? Did you plan to try to make it hard to pass or were you, did you just run your lines normally? I just kind of made it hard to pass and ran my lines normally too. You made it a little bit harder to pass and then ran your normal lines? Yeah. Alright, anything else you want to tell us? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to my trophy already. Yeah, alright, good job. Alright, so we're here with the third place finisher, Justice, and Renan's over here too. So these guys are having a really good battle and uh, basically I just asked you how your race went. What do you think? Good. It was good. Um, Cohen and me. Um, we um, we both hit our brakes hard on the hairpin. So um, we um, we um, so he went up on um my um side pod. He went up on your side pod. Was that during the start? I didn't see that. Oh wow. So that was you and Renan ended up having a really good race. So uh, what I saw was it looked like it was really hard for you to get past Renan. Is Renan just hard to pass, or was he doing tricky stuff to you? Um, tricky stuff. He was doing tricky stuff. <laughs> what kind of tricky stuff? He's going too fast. He's going too fast. Was he doing like? Was he breaking? Was he like brake checking you? Because I noticed a couple times you were about to pass him, but then you were like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust him through this turn. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a hard guy to pass, I guess, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you did good. So you got third place. You looking forward to the trophy? Do you, do you know what the trophies look like? Oh, you're going to be surprised. They're pretty awesome. Are the trophies good? Yeah, I have two now. Uh, if, I, if I get one, I'm going to have two. Yeah. Well, I think you get a trophy, so. That's pretty good. We'll see you up on the podium celebration. Give it so, third place. On the third place, I have the number 99, Justice Jenny. <laughs> and the winner, the best on the track today, Mr. 61.
some words to your dads. Hold them up here. Hold them up. Hold them up. Hold them up. Hold them up. Hold your head. Hold your head. All right, so we got third place justice. So after the trophies, saw your trophy there. What do you think? Tell us about everything. It was good. Um, I really um like um getting a trophy. Um, I already got three trophies, and um, it was hard when I um spun out. Yeah, spinning out is hard, but you got back up there and you were catching running anyways. So I think uh, next time you come, I think you're gonna be doing pretty good. What do you think? You gonna come back for the next one? What do you think of the trophies? Good. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? It'll look good in your room, all right? Yeah. You gonna take it to school when you go back? Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, well, thanks for uh, racing. So we'll see you on the next one. All right, so here at Renan, who got second place, let's see that trophy. It's a good one. It's like your other one, but it's got a number two on it. So you said before that you have a one, and you have a two, and now you want a number three. <laughs> that means you have to get third next time. All right, so let's hear about your race. Uh, it was really easy. It was easy? No. Yes, it was. Well, if it was easy, then how come you didn't get the first place trophy? Because he was faster. Because you wanted to get the second place trophy? <laughs> well, I don't know about that kind of logic. Racing's about getting the, the first position, but hey, that's good. Keegan was faster, so you deserved the first place trophy, I guess, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to tell? No. No? What's your hat say? Husqvarna. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because I have the Husky. Because you have a Husqvarna motorcycle, too? Yeah. Cool. All right. So what do you think of round two from Orlando Kart? It's good. It was good? What do you want to do now? Go get a slushie again. Go get a slushie again? Yeah. Is that your post-race tradition? Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Say thanks for watching from Orlando Kart. Be sure to watch the next one. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell on my thing. And then say thank you for Orlando Kart Center. Thank you, Orlando Kart Center. And these trophies are really cool. Thank you, Orlando Kart Center and the engine builder for sponsoring it to make the trophy. And the trophy guy was Metals Tampa. Mm -hmm. So thanks for Bergfeld Racing Engines and Metals Tampa for the trophies. Mm -hmm. Right? Cool. All right. So see you later. See you later. Make sure to subscribe and he ring the bell. All right. Keegan, where's your shoes? <laughs> Let's see that trophy. Let's see it. Let me see it. Very nice. All right. So tell us about your race. Um, thank you for sponsoring my go kart. Who? Thank you. You. Me? I don't sponsor your go kart. Who? Who's? Who? Who? Who sponsored? I think I see race car engineering on it. Is that who sponsored it? And your dad? I think your dad's the biggest sponsor, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, grandpa too? All right. So tell us about your race, though. I mean, I didn't see any mistakes. You know, like, look kind of boring for you. What, do you. what do you say? I slided around the turn. I think I got a couple of those slides, but they're, they're pretty good. They didn't slow you down too much, though, did you? No? All right. The start was good. The start was good? I think it was good from the start to the finish for you. Yeah. So, um... Anything else you want to tell us? No? You gonna come back for the next one? Yeah. What are you doing? And when I when I been out, I I got all the way to fifth and fourth. You got fifth and fourth. You had a big battle with Cohen. Yeah. So um, how'd that go? Was he hard to race against? Yeah. I fly a little bit. Oh yeah. I saw you were going really close to the wall that I was filming at. That was cool. I heard your cart scrape one time. Did you feel that? Yeah. When 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 it happened to my first practice, um, my car was not running, so they needed to fix it at the track. I saw that. Everybody was working on your cart. They got it up and going for you. So you're ready to race. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try to get a trophy. I know. I know. Well. Uh, just happened that we had a couple of fast guys show up today, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to slow down any, huh? So I think though, I think that your puppy was the biggest trophy of the day. Next time, I think I'm gonna go fast and go first, or second or third. Yeah, you're gonna go fast and get first. What do you think about that? 
Is she going to go fast and get first? What do you think about that? Harper says she's going to go fast and get first next time. No. <laughs> what about you guys? Are you going to race soon too? Yeah? All right. Well, I think I'm going to be first. All right. Well, I'll let you guys get on with your day. So thanks for coming out. Are you going to come to the next one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You coming to the next one too? I bet you are. You want another one of those, don't you? We're definitely winning next time. Okay, well good. All right guys.